Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I know I haven't been very active lately, but today I'm going to talk about that and kind of uh, go over what I'm doing in this time lapse as well because a lot of you guys, when we do the time lapse videos, ask a lot of questions in the comments. So I'll try to cover a lot of those today as well as talk about my personal life a little bit. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. But anyways, so I've been pretty busy lately. I know you guys have been asking like, uh, why haven't you uploaded? When's your next upload? I see your guys' stuff. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. But um, I've had a lot of projects I've been working on. A lot of them have been um, under NDAs, which is non-disclosure agreements, which is basically I can't say what they're about. Um, so in order to protect myself and obviously, you know, keep the projects that I'm working on confidential, I can't really talk about them or um, show them on my YouTube or stream or anything like that. I know you guys enjoyed that a lot. Um, but I'm still going to try to make some content for you guys, such as this time lapse that I did today, just some fun stuff like this. Um, and I've been doing a lot of commission work as well. Um, currently, I'm selling asset packs for like $10 to $30 a piece. Um, you guys can see here what I've been working on and how much they are. If you're interested, please reach out to me. I'm trying to, um, you know, earn a little bit of uh, cash on the side while I work on these huge projects. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I also started online school. Um, so I've been a little bit busier from that, working on personal projects. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also turned 18 in like two weeks, September 4th. So I might not be active around then, but that's basically a rundown of my personal life. And now for the video. So you guys saw already we created the posts and then some spikes and then just some connecting board pieces. Nothing too crazy. Um, if you know your basic blender skill set, you can do that. Um, here I'm creating planks. I believe I created four. And then I gave them each their own characteristics. So like, for example, I made some of them stick out, some of them curve inwards, stuff like that. Just so it's not just straight planks and it kind of gives the build that character. You guys can see I flipped some and then here I am changing it and catering to the shape a little bit. Just to kind of differentiate everything. And then I duplicate it again and I scale some of them in, rotate them, just trying to make everything not look so uniform. And I put a top layer on there just so it looks uh, a little bit better. Here I wanted to create a hut at the top to protect whatever's on top of it. In my mind I was thinking of Breath of the Wild kind of. Um, and I wanted to create kind of a shack look to it. Uh, or something that like a creature would hide in if you're camping up on this post. Um, so I created some of these ledges, I created six of them, and then um, I just uh, kept messing with the flooring and scaling it and getting the right size that I wanted, and um, I began to work on the roof. The roof was a little bit trickier than I thought. I wanted to initially just randomize it or decimate it, but it wasn't working out too well, so I actually had to create a vertex group on the bottom of it and then randomize it, and um, that way not the, the bottom shape wasn't affected and it kept that round look to it once I was happy with that I went ahead and extruded it out and then extruded um, along the regional normals to create that lip at the bottom and I started on this cloth on the side of the shack so what I did was use the knife tool in the view perspective orthographic mode or whatever and I started to carve out shapes of like a fabric that's been real torn up um, you can just google ripped fabric for that and I just kind of winged it, eyeballed it, and I came out with a shape like that. I then used a, a solidify modifier to create that extra depth and um, I just placed it everywhere I thought it should be. I also set these edges to sharp because I had auto smooth turned on. Um, and I wanted those edges to still really show and give the roof some character, like it's kind of rugged and um, so yeah, I turned on sharp edges. I left some openings in the cloth, I didn't cover the whole thing because I wanted there to be an entrance or ability to peek in. And then here I started on a flagpole ordeal. You can see me shoot it out, scale it in, all that good stuff. And 
then I start working on the flag. For the flag, I copied the clothing and then I just added a solidify modifier and then cut out some shapes. I should have cut out the shapes to begin with, so don't make the mistake that I did, but in order to fix it, I just bridged edge loops. I also enabled uh, proportional editing and dragged it down to create that fold that a cloth would have and finished up the flag and I believe here's where I finished it up and began the coloring process. For the coloring, I really wanted the um, texture to give the build some character. So what I did was um, I went on this website. It is called, um, I'll put it up on the screen, but it has hundreds of color palettes and a lot of people use them for pixel art, but I thought it would be a good idea to use them for gradients. And so what you do is project the image. Um, when you go to U and UV project, you project the image on there and then you project from view and you just map it onto two colors at once and it creates a smooth gradient between the two colors. So as you guys can see here, that's how I got the light or the dark brown to light brown gradient. Um, and then that's how I did all the gradients on this build. And then for the wood, I selected every other one and I dragged it further down on the gradient and it created these unique stripes on the build. Um, so that's how I did the coloring for the legs of the build and then everything else. I really had to play around with colors on this build because I wanted it to pop out a lot. I wanted it to be fantasy, cartoony, um, something you really wouldn't see in any other game. I wanted it to be unique and have its own characteristics. So um, I played around with the color palette a lot and you guys can see what I'm working on now changes drastically from the final product. Here I began to color the, um, the spikes on it, but I realized my color palette didn't have any grays that I liked, so I ended up switching color palettes, and I found one with more grays, more, I wanted a fossil gray look to it, um, something kind of more purpley gray, if that makes sense. Um, you guys will see at the end I found the perfect color for it, um, and I used this palette right here, and I mapped the bolts onto two um, separate grays for the main part and then the inner parts, the spikes, I um, did a darker gray to make them stand out more. I really like the, um, the red, the warm red brown look on the post ledges. I think I found the perfect color palette for it, or at least in my opinion. Um, I know it's not really for everyone, but I think it really added a lot of character to this build and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I began to unwrap the posts and then the fabric. I'm just selecting them all and pressing Control L to select pinked items. And then I went with a peachy color for the fabric and then the roof I wanted a beige or tan color. Um, at first I couldn't find a color that I liked and I kind of went panic mode because I was afraid I'd have to switch palettes again after I found the perfect shades, um, so, but I ended up finding one at the end of the palette that I overlooked before. Here I selected every other one to um, add that character to the build and I just um, moved it further along the gradient and what it does is it keeps it the same colors but it um, distinguishes the two. For final touches I ended up uh, coloring the flag and the post and then I believe I rendered it for the last few minutes and this is the final product. I'm really happy with this build and um, yeah that's that's basically everything that I've been doing. This took about 40 minutes total um, and yeah all I want to say is I appreciate you guys for watching my channel even when I don't really upload um, and supporting me. You know I see you guys. <clears throat> And if you really want to keep up with me, I have a Twitter. It's at natalieis1337. I post on there every day. Um, some work I'm working on, and um, I'm a lot more active on there. So if you want to keep up with me, just um, check me out on there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.